Okay, hey everybody. So now we've got a connection to this computer. So through SSH, we're now sending encrypted uh, data to this computer, which is going to be executed on that machine. Which just and so simply, which it's amazing, really, isn't it? Um, it's yeah, there's something very enjoyable just about that. It's it's quite uh, fascinating. But okay, so we're connected. You can see I'm connected bandit zero at bandit. Um, so let's have a look at the, the level and the, the goal. So on this one, it says the password for the next level is stored in a file called readme located in the home directory. The home directory is just where we arrive once we connect, so we're already there. Use this password to log into bandit one using SSH. Whenever you find a password for a level, use SSH on port 2220 to log into that level and continue the game. It gives us a list of commands that we may need to solve this level as well. So it's saying the ls, the cd, the cat, file, du, and find commands. Um, which, you know, what we would do is we would look up these commands um, and see what they do and and how how we potentially be able to use them in this particular level, uh, and then and then give them a go. So maybe maybe the best way to try, if you're if you're following along with me, is to to pause right now. Go have a look at those commands. Just um, you know, just really simply. Linux ls command. Like you know, use use some online resources, or of course. To man of ls, and you can have a look at the man pages for the for each of these commands. Um, and yeah, give it a go. And if you don't get anywhere, come back. Or if you do get anywhere and you just want to 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 hear a bit more of a description about it, then yeah, we'll start now. So okay, so what we're going to need to do, we need to find this file called readme, and we need to read it. So what I would suggest us doing is is learning how to to display the the files that are in the the directory we're currently in at the moment. We're in a directory. We're in the home directory of Bandit Zero, but we can't see if there's any files there. Uh, we need a way to see if there's any files. So the ls command is that command. Uh, the ls lets us see exactly what um, files are in the the directory we're currently in, if we have permission to look, to read them. Um, and yeah, from there we can pick a file and, and display its output. So with the ls command, we'll go back to this man ls. You can see it says ls, then add some option, and then add a file. Uh, if, you add the, if you add the file, it tells you the sort of permissions on that file. And anyway, we'll just We'll just go for it, just like this. So these, are, as you can see, there's like tons of different flags. So all of these programs that we have in Linux have loads and loads of flags, so they can be used in really, really interesting and um, powerful ways. Uh, you just need to put in the time to, to have a look at some of them, and uh, you, you know you don't need to look at them properly now, but you may later find that oh maybe I could like modify the way I list something so maybe there's a flag for the list command you know um, and that's and then you come back and have a look and see if there's anything that you could use or maybe look it up online however anyway the ls command is really simple you just put ls hit enter and it outputs the uh, the files in that directory as you can see, we've got one file. It's called README, or at least it shows you the visible files in that directory. There could be hidden files as well. Um, but for now, we just use ls, and you can see that there's this README file. So now we just need to find a way to 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 show the contents of that file, and that is where the cat command comes in. Cat's short for concatenate. Um, it allows us to sort of append the information of several files and concatenate them together. Uh, but if you obviously if you do it with one file it just shows you the, the information of that one file. Again it's got a man page. Concatenate files and print on the standard output. Um, we can talk about standard output and standard input 
um, at a later time. There's obvious lovely flags again. But anyway, we could just use it by doing cat and then the file name. And voila, there it is. That is as simple as it is for level 0 to level 1. That there is the password for the next level. So the bandit1 user um, on at bandit dot labs to over the wire dot org on port 2220 has a password of this so this is how we connect to the next one so I'll let you do that and I'll meet you meet you there okay see you there